Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith and welcome to my review of the new film, The Happy Time Murders. Now when I first saw the poster for this movie, I really had no idea what I was getting myself into. There was Melissa McCarthy and she was standing next to some puppets. Was this supposed to be some sort of a fun kids movie? Short answer, absolutely not. Now if you're like me, you're used to seeing puppets like Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy and those cool old guys in the balcony, just to name a few, and they're doing really fun G-rated type things. There's nothing G-rated about what the puppets in this movie do. Now, this movie, um, which is directed by Brian Henson, the son of the late Jim Henson, is very refreshing in the sense of, I've never seen anything like it before. And sure, we've seen, you know, funny, over-the-top comedy, but the whole puppet thing was a very interesting take on it, and the things that they do in this film is also very new. Now, in the movie, uh, Melissa McCarthy plays Detective Connie Edwards, and she has to re-team with her former partner, Phil Phillips. The only thing is, Phil Phillips is a puppet. Completely normal in this movie. They had a falling out, and they're very reluctant to team up, but they have to. You see, there's this show called, or there was this show called The Happy Time Gang. And one of the cast members of this show has been murdered. And is this an assault on all puppets? What, is this a random thing? They need to find out. I have to say, as a viewer, I was heavily invested in the whole murder mystery because it was, it kind of reminded me of film noir and I really liked the way that the film was shot. I also have to say, if you're on the lines of being a little conservative, one of two things will happen. Either you will see this movie and you really won't like it, or you'll see this movie and think, is it really wrong that I'm laughing this hard? I'm nowhere near conservative, but I thought this movie was absolutely hilarious because I thought that, of course, Melissa McCarthy does what Melissa McCarthy does best, which is make us laugh, but also teaming up with this puppet was hilarious. They, they just had so many great one-liners back and forth. And again, the things that you see in this film are going to stay with you for a while just because it is so over the top. Again, I can't say it enough. I found this movie to be very refreshing, very original, very different. I really enjoyed it. And it's f so funny because we've had Don Draper, we've had Walter White, and now we get Phil Phillips. And let me tell you something, Phil Phillips, like the other two, will not be soon forgotten. I gave this movie a B plus. Thoroughly enjoyed it, laughed a lot watching it, and I believe you will as well. Uh, again, I, I have to be crystal clear. It's given a 14, I think like a 14 plus rating, like in terms of, in terms of age. This is an adult movie. Uh, in terms of like for adults, like 18 plus, just to be clear on what I mean by adult. Um, but very entertaining, very funny. Um, leave the kids at home for the love of God. Do not bring your children to see this film. They will never look at a puppet the same way. Uh, if you get a chance to see The Happy Time Murders, let me know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, facebook.com slash witty wittier and witty wittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith and I'll see you at the movies.